So check this hallway out, guys. I'm trying to dig to the other side of the mountain, by the way. <laughs> it didn't even take that long, man. What's up, Space Cadets? This is KJ48, and welcome back to my Let's Play for Imperion Galactic Survival. I think this is going to be a hell of a home. I'm super duper excited about this home. So, uh, what are we going to be doing today? Well, guys, this drill is just not going to work for me. This thing is too weak, too pathetic, and it's just kind of gross. Um, and I am high enough level, and I have specced in to the awesome drill. I don't know what to call it, drill. I don't know. I'm going to call this the awesome drill. This thing is legit freaking great drill. We're going to get that thing, okay? But there's a couple things we need to do in order to get that drill. <laughs> Let's see if we can get out of this hole. There we go. Um, there's a couple things we need to do before we can actually use that drill. Number one, we need a real constructor. Um, the survival constructor we have is not going to do it. Remember how I told you last episode about these little dots here? That we're going to need a large constructor, okay? Um, so that kind of blows. As a matter of fact, I think the only one I ever made was a small constructor. I know I made a constructor. Was it a small one or a large one? I cannot remember. I'm pretty sure it was a small one. Um, yeah, a small constructor. So we need a small constructor to make the big constructor to make the thing, okay? So that's going to suck. Also, we need Promethium. Can't do anything without Promethium. So I think what we're going to do right off the bat here is we're going to go out and get some Promethium. Uh, but before we go out, why don't we set this thing up to make a bunch of biofuel. And uh, I also want to get some wood while I'm out there. I do have some biofuel with me. That's great. So we're going to go look for some Promethium. Now, Promethium is going to be in, like, radiated zones, right? Um, so, you know, that's going to suck. As a matter of fact, did I ever get a... No. Okay, hold on. Hold that thought, guys. Let's rewind. Let's rewind. I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. All right, so we did make ourselves a light armor set, but I can't put it down without an armor locker. Well, guess what? I have an armor locker. So let's put down the armor locker and let's put the, let's put on the armor. Now the armor is not only going to help if we get attacked, you know, with defensively or you know whatever. Um, the 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 light armor is going to help us when we're in the irradiated zone. Um, getting the Promethium. I don't think Promethium is anywhere but irradiated zones. So. While we're in the irradiated zone, this will help us with radiation. There's a bunch of stats on this thing. Here, we're in the armor locker. There we go. Now we look badass. And you can see right here, uh, radi radiation protection is four, and that will allow us to live in the radiation zone. This will also help with our comfortable temperature. We can now go up into the mountains and not get cold. We can go out on the savanna and not get hot. And we also have some armor. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take the helmet off because we don't really need it. And we also have a jetpack. Um, if you press J and then you hold down space bar, we can now kind of jump, fly up a little bit. Okay. And that is freaking awesome. So where is the radiated zone? Where is the Promethium? I have no freaking idea. I'm just going to kind of look up here, I guess, because I have no idea. All I know is we're going to stay away from the Xerox territory because I don't need to piss them off anymore than they already are pissed off. All right, guys, I've just been looking around for some Promethium and I found a destroyed shelter. Um, I also found a unknown artifact that I left out alone, but this destroyed shelter... I really want to know what, what that's all about. Um, I'm trying to stay out of the south because it looks like that's where the Xerox is, but I'm probably going to keep looking around here for Promethium. But a tent, and we're going to go ahead and skip to the night. Uh, we just have to wait five more seconds. I'm going to kind of stay up here in case, uh, in case we get any uh, spiders in the area. Not that I can't handle them, but... All right, there we go. Let's sleep through the night. Come on, two seconds. One second. Let's go. Come on. Come on. There we go. Beautiful. I love that. I love that, man. Bring that tent with you everywhere. It's the best. All right, let's check out this, uh... Let's check out this, uh, destroyed shelter here. And see what this is all about. I'm really curious. I wasn't gonna, like, you know, get sidetracked, but... I don't know. I, I don't think I've seen a destroyed shelter before. I'm kind of curious. Uh, who knows? Maybe I'll find some Prometheum in it. You never know. Could It could happen. Oh, also, really quickly, before we go to the destroyed shelter, someone uh, mentioned to me, hold down the space bar to get your hover height past 1.5 meters. Uh, that doesn't work on this because this this um, hover vessel is using repulsor engines. These things are gimpy, like noob stuff. They're, you know, made for early game hover vessels and they won't go to three meters like regular um, hover thrusters will let, allow. So, yeah, I just wanted to address that. Uh, okay, so this looks pretty interesting. This looks nice. Well, kind of. All right, let's uh, get out and get our shotgun out just in case. Uh, okay. All right. Oh, that's a nice, uh, that's a nice be bunk bed. I like that. I want to get a bunk bed like that. What the hell is that? 
Oh, spider. Can't get to me, chump. How you like me now, spiders? So, is there any loot in here? Or, I'm not seeing any. That doesn't mean there isn't any. It just means I'm not seeing any. Here, let's clear out these spiders first. Come on. Come on, you little... Sons of bees. This one's for you guys in the comments section. Everyone was like, I hate spiders. Well, this is for you guys. This is for you. You're welcome. You're welcome. I should probably loot that meat, shouldn't I? Can I do anything with the meat in my um, survival constructor? Uh, vegetables, plant protein. I don't think I can, actually. So I'll leave it alone. I'll leave it alone. Let's see if we can find some loot here, though. I... I can't believe there's no loot here. That kind of sucks. I'm thinking that I'm missing it. Oh, guys, I am not having much luck here. I did find a crashed capital vessel, which is pretty interesting. I'll check that up at some point. Um, I have found some nodes here and there, but, man, I'm, uh, you know, can't go up here. Can't go down here. I'm going to kind of try and go right through here and, you know, look on the other uh, hemisphere of the planet and uh, see what we can find. But, yeah, this is, um, this is taking a little while, uh, you know. That's the way it is. I, I probably should have made a small vessel, but I really want that drill. Uh, I don't want to farm any more materials with this crappy drill. Well, that's not good. Oh, boy. Well, I did find some radiation fog here. Um, unfortunately, I'm not seeing any Prometheum in the area. I did find some Prometheum, but the Prometheum is in the Xerox territory. And it looks like there might be another Prometheum deposit over here. And I got shot at, by the way, from some Xerox uh, soldiers, some ground soldiers. Uh, so we are we are not safe here. Um, all right, let's see. This is right on the border, isn't? It? Oh, okay. You know what? That might be doable. I'm not sure if the um, if the Xerox soldiers like leave their own area or not. Um, I don't usually see. I don't know if I remember seeing them outside their area. But um, another thing we could find in here, by the way, is cobalt, and we really should find some cobalt before we leave this area. But first things first, let's get some Prometheum. And if they um if they descend upon us, well, you know, at this point, we could be in big trouble because um, this ship is not... I mean, this ship's made out of plastic. I mean, it's held together with, you know, duct tape and bubble gum, and it's made out of plastic. So if we get attacked here, we could be in, um, you know, serious trouble. As a matter of fact, I'm going to leave this thing going. Oh, see? Something's sh hitting us. Is that a spider? Is that a spider? Yeah, it's a spider. Damn freaking spiders. I hate those damn things. All right, let's see if we can deal with these spiders. What else is in the area? All right, everything else looks okay. So let's deal with these spiders. Can't really see them because of the underbrush and because I have the wrong gun out. Okay. He's running. He's dead. All right, I'm going to come over here and clear any other spiders that are in the area. I know that they usually travel in groups of three. There's no way there was just one. So you can see the green radiation fog, right? So, oh, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I hear them. There they are. Turn on our light. Okay. Come on. Come on, you pieces of crap. Don't run away. I thought we were going to play. There we go. All right, I'm gonna bring my uh, my vessel as close as I can, so in case I, you know, start getting attacked by anything like serious, then I, I can get the hell out of there. Um, but I, like I said, I'd really like to find some cobalt as well. And let's uh, fix uh, defense resource. Oh crap! What the hell's going on? It's another spider, isn't it? Yep. You know, honestly, out of, out of he hit me a couple times, I barely took any damage. I have no way of repairing this apparently. Because um, I thought this thing comes with a repair option, but I guess not. Defense, resource, salvage. Nope. So we can't repair this without a multi-tool, which kind of sucks. Um, and you can't use a multi-tool without... Da -da -da, Prometheum. Wait, what was that I just passed? Is that cobalt? That might be cobalt. Let's take a look. Resource drill. Oh, look at this. Hold on. Hold on. F5... All right, whatever. Ah, oh, it's freaking spiders, man. Oh, hold on. Oh, take out a shotgun. Oh my god, more spiders. Freaking spiders for days! Where is he? Where is he? He's behind me, isn't he? Yep. Can 
not very good with this shotgun. Alright, where's the other one? I know he's around here somewhere. There you are. Ah! Man, they're kind of fast when they start running like that. Joke's on them, though. They're giving me experience. So, that's just fine with me. Right, get in. Get out. F5. Can we mine now, please? Resource drill. Actually, no. That's, um... That's silicon. Yeah, I might as well take it. Can I pick up with this thing? Yes, I can. Awesome. Alright. I do want to find some cobalt, though. Alright, guys. So, Permethium is not the voxel-based ores I've been digging. They are actually chunks. And you can see that, right? You can see the little blue outlines, right? Now, the only reason I can see that is because, number one, you have to have your drill out. And, number two, you have to have one of these Cyclops ore scanners on. Right? That, this thing should go on your face, by the way. I think that'd be really cool. But um, that's what you need to do. And then I just need to get down there and um, dig out some chunks. And we're just going to kind of go. Yeah, that looks pretty good. All right. Yeah, let's get down there and dig out some chunks. And then once I've gotten some chunks of this, I'm going to go look for some cobalt. All right. I think I found some cobalt. Unfortunately for me, I think I'm also... Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to carry the cobalt. Uh, you know what? Why don't we do this? Why don't we come to the factory and dump some stuff in there oh, wait why can't i put that in there item does not it does not contribute okay let's pick some, let's pick a different item then if it doesn't contribute pick something better there we go um yeah that didn't do much if anything all right well let's see if we can get this cobalt anyway um maybe we'll have enough room for some of it we don't need a ton of it actually i don't think we really need any of it right now but oh, okay all right that's not even oh that wasn't that bad I think we can actually find another one. Yeah, let's go find another one. All right, I'm going to go find another cobalt deposit. Now you guys know what it looks like. And here's the second one. Let's keep the listing out for spiders. Are we full yet? Eh, I think we got enough. How much cobalt do we have? Ten. Okay, that's enough for a couple sets of uh, ingots. You know what? It's it's not a lot, but it'll be enough to make like some key items, I think. Um, we're not going to be mass producing anything serious, but you know it will be good to make some key items. Oh, boy. All right, we got to go around the Xerox territory, so. Oh, boy. Oh, it's a spider. Okay, good. <laughs> thank God. You know, the spider, it, like, if I'm getting attacked here and it's a spider, it, like, thank God for that, right? Right. We don't want the Xerox shooting their freaking laser guns at us. That's for damn sure. All right, guys, the entire time I was out there, I was very, very afraid that I was going to be being attacked. Um, so we need to get some turrets up, and we need to do some serious, serious drilling. I've uh, queued up some uh, fuel packs. I've queued up some drill charges, multi-charges. Um, I think, what else do we need? I don't see... Oh, here we go. Got a small generator and a fuel tank. There we go. All right, so let's get these things put down. Uh, can we put them inside? We can't. We don't have enough blocks. And we don't have enough weight to carry everything. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop these in here. And then we're going to take as many of these blocks as we can. I'm actually not happy with where that entrance is either. I'm going to actually push the entrance in um, into the cave quite a bit more. For now, I'll leave the wall there. But that wall is eventually going to come out. And I, I want to push the uh, entrance in a lot more. All right, so let's go ahead and what we're going to do is we're going to come out here. And we're going to use this because it'll be a lot easier in here. And we're just going to kind of put down a flooring. If you hold down the butt, the mouse button, left mouse button, it'll go across. If you hold down control, it'll it'll come to you. Just a way to build stuff, uh, you know, a lot more, a lot more quickly. All right, so you can't really get one in there. So let's go ahead and drill this out a bit. And this is going to suck because it's so freaking slow. Okay, now the thing that sucks about where I'm going to put these is I'm going to get heat problems and radiation problems and all kinds of problems. But, you know, we'll, we'll move them eventually. It's not really that big of a deal. All right, so we're going to put those two right there. And then we're going to bring the other stuff in. Uh, we need to get the constructor up. And what else did I have? There's a constructor. And, oh, yeah, we need a box. You can't just use the constructor anymore. You can't, like, put stuff in the constructor anymore like you used to be able to. Um, now you need a, a you need the constructor to be linked to a box, which um, is fine. I mean it's it's pretty cheap stuff, so not really that big of a deal. So let's get in there and get this thing set up. I'd like to get some baseline turrets set up as well um, today. Hopefully we'll see, and uh, let's see what we can do here. So we're gonna put the box down, and we're gonna keep the box as small as possible, and then we're gonna put the constructor right here. It's nice that it's actually a small constructor. Um, it's legitimately like small. 
All right, so we're gonna come to main and we're gonna go to manage and we're just gonna dump all this in here. Well, we'll, we'll put half of it in there. 25% is pretty nice. Okay, is it actually on? Let's take a look. Uh, power on, there we go. All right, power left, we've got 16 hours of power. That's without anything being used though. <laughs> and this, um, this small constructor sucks up power like nobody's business. Okay, so um, we will connect it to this cargo box Sounds good. And then, uh, there we go, cargo box and cargo box. Now we just gotta put stuff in the cargo box. And uh, yeah, let's go grab all our resources and put in the cargo box. Let's make ourselves that drill. I can't freaking wait, you guys are gonna love this drill. Okay, so now we've got the large constructor. The problem with the large constructor is the damn thing's too heavy. Actually, it might not be too heavy. It is too heavy, okay. So what you wanna do is when something's too heavy to carry, you go to this little, like plug thing and connect and then everything will turn yellow then you can drag this down to your hotbar and and it's like it's not really on your character it's just kind of your you're choosing where you want to place it and it's a way you can carry stuff that's too heavy all right so there we go and then we got the large constructor so let's come over to the large constructor now we don't have to move everything into the large constructor all we got to do is hook it up to the cargo box there you go Beautiful. And do we have enough materials to make it? There we go, boys and girls. We got the drill. Hails to the freaking yeah. Oh, that's awesome. All right, so next thing we're going to make is we're going to make a couple of uh, projectile turrets for outside. And we're going to make a couple of turrets for inside. And then we're going to come over here and we're going to do an ammo box for inside. The turrets draw ammo from ammo boxes. And we're also going to make a food processor refrigerator. Hopefully you have enough for all this. And um, that will probably be good enough for now. Okay, we're also going to make a core, by the way, because we want to move the core inside. So, um, we also need a multi-turret. Uh, did I... Can I spec into the tier 2 multi-turret? Uh, I cannot. All right, fine. We'll make a tier 1 for now. That's fine. So, tier 1 multi-turret, please. Uh, right there. Anything else in here? Um, we probably want an assault rifle as well. We could also make sniper rifles. I specced into that. Um, we're also going to... What do we need for these? These are uh, 15 mil, I believe. Yeah, so we're going to have to make some 15 mil ammo. We're not going to have enough for the 15 mil. I can almost guarantee it. We're going to need more wood. Uh, which is fine. I'll go get some wood. I mean, I could always put a... Nah, we'll leave it alone. That's fine. I could always put a, uh, one of those grinders on the front of my um, on the front of my vehicle. But it'll kind of mess up the handling. Maybe I'll make a vehicle just for just for cutting wood. Or not make one, but spawn one in. Let's take a look. See if there's any good uh, hover vessels for chopping wood. All right, guys. I'm going to bite the bullet. I went ahead and specced into it. I'm going to make the harvest module to cut down trees. And the ore and wood container. I'm just going to put it on my own my own ship. Um, my own hover vessel. It's going gonna, it's gonna to control like ass, though. I can pretty much guarantee it. If you know, I might not even have enough uh, materials to make it all, but we'll see. All right. So let's come on into here and let's grab our wonderful, wonderful drill. All right. What we need to do now is... Actually, I could probably keep it in there, right? Now, I want it to stay on me. I want it to stay on me. So there we go. And uh, let's go ahead and reload. Now watch how this thing works, man. This thing's going to be beast. Look at this, huh? That's what I'm talking about. Look at this. Right? Am I right? I mean, look at this. It's freaking crazy. Oh, I love that. I, oh my god, look at how much I've already done. Look at that. That is freaking sweet. Oh my god. Alright, so what I want to do is I want to have a long hallway here. And it'll eventually... We'll put like a door right here. And the hallway for the beginning of the base is going to be pretty big. And then uh, we'll have a door right here. And that will go into what's eventually going to be the base. So let me uh, let me dig some more of this out. I swear to God, guys, I feel like I'm chewing through this stone like it like the stone's made of butter. I mean, this is just incredible. I, oh, what a! And they, they've recently buffed this. This is brand new for Alpha 10. Um, this used to be a lot slower, and thank God they did because this is just boring work, you know. Like, and it needs it needs to go quick, and I'm really happy that it's going a lot quicker now. Am I actually getting the resources? I am not. Oh, I am. Okay, so what we're going to do is, we're not going to be able to hold a lot of stone, right? So what you do is, if you were going to be mining a lot of stone, you're not going to be able to hold it. First of all, put that in there. You link this up. Now, anytime I mine something, it should go right into that chest, right? Is that the way that works? F6. There we go. I just just grabbing a screenshot. That's why I didn't have F6 there. All right, so let's see. Now, is this going to go in my inventory? Yes, it is. Okay. So that doesn't work. So I think what you want to do is, you want to put the drill inside the container, right? So let's go ahead and do that. And then 
connect and then put the drill in here and mine like that. Now I think, um, guys, is there any way to mine and have stuff go into a storage container? I used to be able to do it, but now I'm, I'm not sure. It's just doesn't, it just doesn't seem to be working now. See, like, um, I, I used to do it like this. I put that in there, connect, put that right there. And now it says not possible to use from connected toolbar. So I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong here. If you guys could let me know, that would be awesome. Because if you can't mine stuff and have it automatically, like you can only hold 600 volume. If you can't automatically have stuff go into another container, something that can hold 8,000 volume, you know, or more, then that kind of sucks, to be honest. That's kind of dumb. Uh, I feel like I'm doing something wrong. Probably am. You know, let me know in the comments. Okay, so uh, I could not make the harvester thingy because I ran out of copper. So that kind of sucks. Um, but I should be able to make copper ingots with the crushed stone, right? Can I do that? I thought you can. Let me let me uh, let me see if you can make some copper ingots with the crushed stone. Yeah, you can. So copper ingots is what I was missing, right? I'm pretty sure it was. Or is it iron? Actually, it might be iron. Probably iron and copper. Well, let's go ahead and do this. Make a couple copper. Oh, yep, it's iron. Oh, so you can't make iron ore with the. You can't make iron ore with the crushed stone? You can. It just takes too much. That's what it is. Okay. I, I am going to go get copper. I just I just don't want to do it today. Uh, that's kind of weird. Um, so yeah, we're going to keep digging this bad boy out. It's going to be awesome. We I think another thing is we have no more food. So maybe I will go ahead and get some copper. <laughs> we have no more food. Uh, so I can get some copper and some food. Let's see if there's copper close. Oh god, there's not copper anywhere close. Nah. I'll get that next time. So yeah, we're going to have to get copper and food. Faux show. And uh, let's go ahead and dump this in here. I think we may be able to make enough um, to get that. I'd really like to get... I'd really, really, really like to get that harvester. Um, it needs metal, metal components. Now, what are we missing for metal components? Um, metal components. Those are these right here. Steel plates. Steel plates. Yeah, we just need iron. All right, let's get some iron. So check this hallway out, guys. I'm trying to dig to the other side of the mountain, by the way. <laughs> it didn't even take that long, man. This thing's freaking awesome. We're gonna go. We're gonna starve, by the way. I just don't want to go out and get food, man. I'm having too much fun drilling. You know, I'm uh, I'm channeling my inner uh, my inner dwarf. You know. Oh my goodness. All right, let's take this. Nah, that has side effects. The hell with it. I don't want to take it. Yeah. Anyway, I I uh, got plenty of stone, and I am making the. The harvester, the tree cutter, I don't, I don't know what it's called, but um, we're going to go ahead and use it uh, today and get some more wood. Let's see if it's done. Uh, harvest module, that's what it's called. Okay, it should be in here. Hopefully I can carry it. Come on, come on. we got to set these projectile turrets as well. We'll do that next video. Next video will probably be about turrets. By the way, look at the heat. It's okay though. I'm not suffering because um, I can handle that much heat because of my armor. All right, so we're going to take the controller for the ore and the wood. And we're going to wait for this harvester to be done. There, it's done. Am I just missing it? Yep, there it is. Okay, is that all I need? I think that's all I need. I haven't messed around with this thing in quite a while, but um, this thing's definitely going to screw up my, uh, my hover vessel as far as, like, balance goes. But that's all right. That's all right. It should be pretty fun. Uh, can I not put that in my... I can't shift-click it for some reason. I thought you could, but I guess not. All right, and we'll just put it right there. And then we're going to put this thing on the back. All right, guys, went and slept through the night, and I put the uh, thingy on the back. Now, I don't know if this is actually going to hold anything. Um, oh, it'll hold some, but not a lot. Uh, now, you can add, like, extensions onto this to make the volume a lot higher, but this will be good for now, I think. Um, let's go get some wood. All right. Eh, this thing doesn't seem so bad, actually. And there we go. I wonder how much one tree is going to fill that up. Uh, let's go into the P menu. And... Controller... Access... Oh, 25. Okay, it's not so bad. That's not so bad. We'll get some more on there. We'll get some more on there. I can always take it out and put it in my inventory as well. I mean, yeah, actually, I could, there's no reason not to. Can I take it right out of here? Yes, I can. Beautiful. Awesome. Oh, that tree's not there. What about this one? Oh, yeah, this one's here. 
All right, so we're going to get some wood, man. We're going to get some wood for some biofuel. Um, I did get a lot of... Pre the reason I'm getting biofuel, guys, uh, in case you didn't know, is for um, is for fuel. And I did get a lot of Promethium. That is true. But I don't want to go back for Promethium anytime soon because that was a that was quite a headache. Um, I'm also going to need the wood for other things. I forget what. I think Ammo. I'm going to need it for ammo. That's what I'm going to need it for. Yeah. Actually, probably even more ammo than fuel. So, yeah, because we're going to have to make a lot of ammo for our guns. So... Yeah, in uh, next video, what are we going to do next video? You know, honestly, I don't know. Um, right now, next video, I think I'm kind of maybe looking for a small vessel. I'd like to get some kind of flying baseline small vessel. Or maybe a better hover vessel, one that can uh, carry more. I have an idea. Uh, there is a... Yeah, this one right here is the one I'm looking at um, for my next small vessel. So, we'll, we'll see. Uh, next hover vessel. Um, the small vessel won't be able to carry as much as the hover vessel, but it can get... It could get around uh, a lot easier. So, and we just filled up. So let's go ahead and look at all that wood. Hells to the freaking yeah. All right, guys. Um, I am going to call this one here. If you ended up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Now, go into your own game and make your own drill of awesome. Your, your awesome drill. Your drill of the gods. I kind of like drill of the gods. I think that works for me. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.